Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's an SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Need some money here. Sportsbook Robbery. Uh, we got two games on the slate. Boston and Celtic. Boston and Celtics, yeah. Boston and Cleveland. 7 o'clock game, and then, of course, we got Thunder and Mavericks at 9.30. I'm going to jump right into this. Videos tend to be a little long. I do a lot of picks. Uh, we got Derek White. Yeah, he's been playing like trash. I feel like he might explode tonight, but uh, I didn't play his points or anything like that. I played rebounds and assists under 8.5. Minus 122. Uh, actually, I played at 125. It's at one to minus 122 right now, FanDuel. Uh, all the way up to minus 155, definitely line shot. Uh, he's gone under this 9 out of 10. A couple times he's hit it pretty close, but, uh, you know, Close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. You know you're getting old and you start saying shit like that, right? Crazy. Derek White has failed to exceed eight and a half rebounds and assists in nine of his last ten games, averaging six and a half. So he's out there plenty of minutes. He's playing. Uh, obviously, he's got potential to go over this. The, uh, the Cavaliers... Rebounds allowed, uh, they rank 10th, and assists allowed, they rank 6th. And this app here, the site, see how it's in green over here on the right? It's because I'm on under, so that means it's a good a good play. Not necessarily a good play, but like a good, uh, excuse me, a good situation. If I switch it to over, it's going to turn red. Bam, you see how it's red now? It's like, don't play me. They're, you know, they're, you know what I mean? But, uh, all right, so we got Derek White, rebounds and assists over eight and a half. Might want to play his points, but no, nah, I lost money, on, so I'm not playing. I'm not trying to catch up. See what happens. All right, <clears throat> play number two, play number two. Got a couple first quarter props. I'm going PJ Washington over three and a half first quarter points plus one oh two on DraftKings. Um come on. He's been having, you know, his two good games last game, scoring eleven in each of them. Uh hopefully I didn't miss the bandwagon and he don't score. I shouldn't even have said that. He plays uh just about the whole first quarter, nine minutes. Um, he's been doing really well, hitting a couple threes in the first, hitting them throughout the game. But in the first, uh, you know, he's driving. If they're closing out, uh, I figure I'd give it him a shot. Uh, I played him about a week ago, a couple of times when he was hot, and then he cooled off. So I left him alone for a little bit. Uh, you know, one of them gut feelings, I should have played him the other day, and I was thinking about it, and I didn't, and he went off. And then he went off again. So I'm going to give him an opportunity. Got P.J. Washington. First quarter points. Him, uh, a couple other plays. I normally don't like to play guys with numerous plays, but these correlate together kind of, and uh, it's just been working out for me. Uh, first quarter under four and a half points, minus 115 DraftKings. Got it up to almost 140 on FanDuel and around the world, so uh, line shop. Now, You've been watching, you already know I've been playing this nonstop. Look at that. It's gone over once. 
in the last 10 games. Uh, last game he did have four. It was close, uh, but he didn't get it. Plays about 10 minutes. Uh, what happens is Kyrie's uh, Kyrie. He's looking to pass and everything else. He don't get going till till a little second half, really. But uh, Luca be scoring in the beginning, and then uh, you know Kyrie does put up a couple shots. He usually misses his first one, and he goes under this. So uh, been going under it and played again. Kyrie on the four and a half first quarter points. Now, this one I haven't played before. Let me give it a whirl. Jump right in. I got him under, uh, excuse me, over one and a half first quarter assists. Now, this kind of correlates what I'm saying with the last play. He's not really trying to score, but he's passing, getting other people involved. Last two games, this has gone up. He got two and then three. Uh, head to head, he's hit this 80% of the time. Let's see what that's trying talking about. Yeah, every time they play, he's hit this four out of the five times they've played. Uh, I like the, the plus money, it's plus 130. So uh, I figured I'd give it a shot. All right, I'm going to jump right into the next one, too. We got him as well as you know. If you've been watching, we've been playing this. We got him on his blocks and his steals, but I play him separate. Uh, over half a block, plus money, plus 110. So he needs, uh, he needs one block. Plays defense, you know, he's really, he's, he's a pest, he's good. Might get these at the end of the game or whatever. I mean, the box throughout the game, but uh, as you see, two, four, six, he's had six in the last four games. You know, they bring bringing the ball up, shooting motion, and he, and he swipes at it, and they're considering it blocks. Uh, yeah, so we've been cashing in, we're going to play it again. Kyrie, he plays both ends of the court, I like about it. That's what I like about him, too. You don't just try to score. Also got him on his steals from playing this as well. Now, he didn't hit this last game, but uh, he's hit it almost every game before that. Nine, uh, eight out of the last ten. It's over one and a half steals. So we're going we're gonna to play it again, give him another opportunity. Like I said, he's you know he's out there. He's scrappy, scrappy buck out there playing offense and defense. Uh, plus one hundred five right now on our Fanduel. Oh, you know, always saying this line shot. They got it up to minus one thirty. But uh, I was also playing his points, uh, his rebounds and assists, but they bumped it up. So, I'm going to leave that one alone today. So, yeah, that's it for Kyrie. All right, so we got four on Kyrie. We got over one and a half steals. We got over one over a half a block. One and a half first quarter assists and under four and a half points. Take this time and like the video. For my new viewers, please subscribe. Uh, turn the notifications on. I drop a lot of live plays in the community. You can get them instantly. You need to get them instantly because the lines change real quick. Now, it's whether I'm doing well throughout the day or if I'm not, uh, not chasing my losses or anything like that. I don't advise that. It's just that, you know, I find good plays. The numbers drop. And, uh, excuse me. And, uh, it's high, you know, there's high numbers right now as it is, high lines, it's because it's playoffs and uh, they'll drop down in the beginning or someone won't be doing as well or I just dissect the books and we commit in sportsbook robbery. So if you could, like I said, like, subscribe and uh, leave a comment if you could. It helps get the videos out there, helps with the algorithm. Uh, I appreciate everybody. 
Uh, for my next play, I got Tim Hardaway Jr. over seven and a half points. He's gone over this the last two games. He just got off the injured reserve. Had eight last game, 17 the game before. That's the type of player he is. He, he can go anywhere from 10 to 20 easily. Uh, he plays defense. You know, defense leads to offense. Play, you know, your, your teammates look out for you. They see you. They reward you. Get some fast break points easy. Um, head to head, he's at 80% with this. Uh, for the year, he's at 80%. So before this number gets bumped up in the next couple of days, I'm going to take it. Uh, Hardaway Jr. over seven and a half points. All right, here we go. Well, Isaiah Joe, points over six and a half. Uh, as we know, the Wolves are the points allowed, 20th rank. Middle towards the end of the pack, uh, they allow some scoring. He had seven two games ago, 13 the last game. I liked the way he was playing. Uh, yeah, he had, you know, he got increased minutes. He's been playing almost just 19 minutes, so just about 20 minutes a game the last two games. From the field, he's shooting 50%, 41 from threes, staying out of foul trouble. You know, he's got good percentages here. I like the way he was playing, like I said, so I give him a shot. Try to get these, uh, these off the bench plays. Uh, try to get them before they get bumped up. The lines usually ain't too high for them, you know, but uh, try to get some easy money. I got Isaiah Joe over six and a half points. Play, I got Josh Giddy over six and a half points. I mean, it's 110 on DraftKings. On Outlier, I can adjust home away, a bunch of different settings. It's a good thing. Um, as you see, the last 10 games, he's got 10 away games, he's gone over this. He plays uh, a little better away. Hit rate 100%. Um, these are away games. His hit rate's 100% for the year, 84%. Tw last 20 games, 90%. Last five, obviously, 100%. Uh, I could switch it on to his, his regular, both games. He's gone over this plenty of times. Uh, you know, occasionally he'll go under it, but this line is too low. Dude's a scorer when he wants to be. He's definitely going to get, you know, over six and a half points. His minutes have gone down a little bit. That's only because uh, they've been playing Wiggins for defense, Aaron Wiggins. But, uh, yeah, he's he's a starter, and uh, he'll go over this. It's a little gem. Josh Giddy over six and a half points. Ace Money, the name, getting paid for the game. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Turn the notifications on. Catch them live bets. We've been racketed in. Sportsbook robbery. <laughs>